Falcons. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Escaping, looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! Big stop, D. Big stop, let's go! Yes. They run with Breda. And able to work his way down to the 16. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often go, alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the 16, Garoppolo, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> well, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. He finds Coleman. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here we go, here we go. 180! Get that quarterback, D-line! Get that quarterback, D-line! D-line, get that quarterback! It's Coleman here. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now go, from go, the go. seven, here's second and goal. Now Garoppolo. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. And it bangs off the right, upright, no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. So from nothing less there than chip shot distance, a tough miss from the right hash mark. Well, this is just a wobbler. I mean, he knows he's got to get it going left, but that was right all the way. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and it'll be second and 12. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. 
They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. This is Freeman on first and ten. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A nice pickup there, 18 yards, first down Falcons. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and 10. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They run Devontae Freeman. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The tackle by Eric Armstead. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Well, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. Well, let's get back to the playoff picture. We talked about the AFC. Let's look at the NFC. Still, that race starting to come into focus. We know most of the teams, Seahawks, 49ers, Saints, and Packers all in. Vikings in good shape. How do you handicap this race? It seems like anyone can beat anyone. I think you're spot on because if you were going into the playoffs with these teams that we're going to talk about. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, 49ers. Kendrick Bourne. 81 yards as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And the kick is no good, but there are flags behind the line. He's going to get bailed out. I think this is going to be a roughing call. Now the try here for the extra point. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 22. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. D. Ford able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Out of the gun, they give to Freeman. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Looking deep for Julio. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. Well, pass complete here to Sanders. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. First and 10 at the 47. Here we go. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Garoppolo is going to give this to Brita on the draw. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Well, that last sack, he puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! On third and long, it's Garoppolo. The Sanders has got it complete. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Shanahan's made the decision. They're going on fourth down. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Let's go, baby. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And you're under a minute to go in the half. A first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Trying to get that in the hands of Devontae Freeman that time. And it'll bring up third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some... Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. D4, able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. A bit of a surprise. They're going for it with two ticks remaining. No side of the field goal unit. And he hauls it in. Zone, touchdown San Francisco. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. The PAT would extend their lead, but there is a flag on the play. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken near the 13. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up 